Hello friends, today we are going antiquing, rummaging, and thrifting. So this is a collection of several different days of outings that I had to look for different fall decor and fall items. So I didn't find a whole lot, but I do share my little haul at the end. And I am most excited though, because this is a collaboration with Miranda Christine. She is doing the same type of video, thrifting for fall pieces or fall decor. So if you are new, welcome. I do videos like these and homemaking, motherhood, and simple living. And definitely go check out her channel if you haven't after you watch my video as well and give her some love from Davey. So I am gonna take you and see what we get to see for fall decor, and just of course some other pieces while I am out and about. While I am out thrifting, there's always certain things I'm on the hunt for. Baskets are one in particular, kitchen wares with uh, vintage type pictures and blue and white plates, and I do regret not picking up these blue and white plates I saw here. And then I'm always on the hunt for unique pieces. This metal piece looks like something that Hillary from Old World Home would purchase and it just drew my attention, but I did not get it. Then always looking for wooden spoons and utensils, wooden crates, they draw my eye. Those are just lots of things that I feel like can be classic timeless pieces that I decorate with. garage sales and this garage sale in particular it looked like she did some DIYs but I did not purchase anything here and those lanterns were really adorable just a little bit too expensive and sunflowers are a great thing for the fall as well but I just cut my fresh sunflowers and use real instead of the faux signs and little decorative pieces. Copper is something I'm drawn to, especially for the fall. I didn't pick those candle pieces up, but I debated on it. And then these gold dishes, they were beautiful, but definitely not quite what I was looking for, but they would go very well for the fall. Now to the antique store. This wooden little cutting board stand intrigued me. However, I flipped it over and saw it wasn't really antique or vintage at all. I always look through vintage books. They're just so beautiful and they're a timeless way to decorate with. Candlesticks are something I look at as well, whether brass or wood. And then I found this little cute spoon that would be really fun to decorate with by a coffee station. What a cute idea to hang twinkle lights on an old lantern. That would be something I could see myself doing for the winter season. Just found a booth with some actual fall type pieces that I wanted to look through here too. Beautiful picture and some bowls and a very classic fall decorative style. All right, so at a Goodwill, I found this, I think it's a book basket. It was $4, pretty gross on the inside, but I like to take the liners out and just use them. 
uh, for other things. So I think what I'm gonna actually do with it is put it in my girls' room and put some fall themed books in it. Or, you know, you could put napkins in there and other things like that, even on your counter. So I'll see what I end up doing with that. I could make it like a coffee station for the fall with uh, my mugs or something like that. But I just thought this was really cute with a higher back and lower front. So I did get this for $4 at Goodwill. Also at Goodwill, I got this. Now I have a neutral tan colored one of these and I just think they're so fun and antique. I haven't even opened it to see what it looks like, but it just has a sticker on the front there uh, that I could definitely easily get off. So I will probably be decorating with this on my shelves because that brown amber color I do add a few of those touches in different parts of my home as well and this was a dollar fifty at Goodwill so that Goodwill was kind of kind of a bust I felt like it had been cleared out and they didn't have a lot of pieces in there but I did find those two pieces there and then at the antique store I went to I found two items and this first one is just a fall mug. It's a white leaf mug. It's really beautiful. It will fit under our espresso machine. It says a dollar on there but I got it for 50 cents because it was 50 cent off of that booth. So it's the Gibson brand, just nothing fancy, but I just thought it'd be super cute. I could leave it sit out on my counter. I could even put spoons in there to stir my creamer in or my heavy cream in when I make my coffee in the morning. So isn't that just such an adorable mug? I really like the stoutness of it. So that was 50 cents at an antique store. This apple basket was $5 originally, but 50% off of that booth as well, so it was $2.50. Now, I have an idea of what I want to do with these, but you'll probably have to wait for my fall decor at home tour to see what I actually do. But it's in really good condition. It doesn't have a sticker on the bottom or anything, so I'm sure it was just like a retail store apple basket, and then they... Put it in their antique booth but i have a really large one that i use to decorate with outside so i really like these for fall decor and i hadn't found one that i had been wanting to get so i was excited to find this apple basket and finally like i said it was a very small haul these were not even thrifted but they were given to me by my mom from my grandma when she passed they are just some cloth napkins. Now we use cloth napkins on a daily basis with my two little girls even. They're washable, so it's really easy just to clean up. But these ones would be a little more special. These ones are cream, and then these ones are white. They're not antique or anything because they have tags, but I really like the scalloped edge and just a little lace detail there. These would be really cute for a fall tablescape I think there's eight of both so the cream I really like using cream for fall as well because it kind of pulls in with that tan um, but I could use some of the white too I think there's only four white so those were just a gift from my grandmother when she passed and I thought those would be really pretty to pull out for fall and probably into the winter too to do a tablescape or decorate my table with so there you have it, a super, super small haul. I have an idea already of what I'm doing for fall decor. I've decorated some simply already in a video a couple weeks ago that you hopefully saw. And so I will add more touches throughout September and share a fall decor video before fall hits. And so I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got to peruse and see and that you check out Miranda's video after this as well. So I love you guys and I'll talk with you in my next video.